Hey guys, have you ever came across a circuit question where it is too complicated to simplify? Well, let's look at this circuit. As you can see, it may not be too complicated. I mean, you have two resistors right here just in parallel with each other. And then if we have that, we can then simplify that since that, that resistor right here is in series with this uh, two loaded resistors together. And then that all together is in parallel with this resistor. And there we get our equivalent resistance equation. Now, what about another scenario where the circuit is too complicated, where the implementation of series and adding resistors in series and parallel with each other would not work? So for example, we have this circuit right here. I mean, if we just utilize the knowledge of adding the resistors in series and parallel with each other, we can't come across any solution because, well, look, let's look at this. How could we do it? Well, there is another solution to that, and that is the Y delta transformation. And simply what that means is that we are going to have to find any sort of connection which resembles a Y or a delta so that we can convert them into that other formation so that in the future we could simplify the circuit to find our equivalent resistance equation. So let's look at the circuit. Is there any resemblance of Y here? Yes, we do. And I'm going to highlight it to show you guys. So here it is, R2, R3, and R4. This resembles a Y connection. So utilizing the knowledge of Y delta transformation, let's convert it to delta. And our delta would look like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a hypostrophe here to indicate the new formation. So this is how our delta circuit will look like. And it's really important that, the, that I want to say is that the position at which each resistor is, is critical. So my knowledge here is that the equivalent resistance of the formation is opposite of where it is. So as you can see here, R2 is right here. The new formation, it's at the right side of the circuit. Before it was the left side, now it's all the way to the right side. And vice versa, R3 is down here now, and R4 is up here now. Now what I also want to highlight is how do we get these values? Well, this is how this is what the new value would be. So what we do is we take the sum of all these three resistors and we divide that by that resistor and we get the equivalent form of that. Consecutively, our three apostrophe would be the sum of all three resistors, divide that by R3, and then R4 apostrophe would be divide we would divide that by R4. So now that we got that, let's see how our new resistance would look like. So let's draw it out, shall we? So we have R1 here, nothing has changed because we didn't change anything for this resistor, either for R5, and then 
our new formation would look like this. This is how our new resistor will look like when it's converted to delta connection. Now the question is, will this new formation be able to help us simplify and define our equivalent resistance overall? Well, let's draw this circuit a little bit more clear. So what we can do is that we can kind of reshape this formula a little bit. Sorry, my circuit is a little small here. So what we can see is that this is how our circuit is. Now what we can see is that we can simplify this area of the circuit altogether. So our combined resistor here would be R1 in parallel with the new formation of R4. A resistor down here would be R5 in parallel with R3 apostrophe and then our resistor here will be R2 in parallel with R6 and there we have it that's our equivalent resistance our equivalent resistance is equal to R1 this term right here as you can see this is in series and this whole term is in parallel with that and voila there is our equivalent resistance deduced from a really complicated circuit and just to highlight these three terms are equal to the following initial values of the resistance when it used to be in this formation. So in conclusion, what is the method for simplifying a circuit throughout this video? If we see anything complicated like this, then we should look to find any Y connection so that if we convert it to a delta transformation delta connection we might be able to simplify it and to find our equivalent resistance I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you next time